Hi, welcome to the video Spring Data JPA shot by nested property examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you some code examples of how to sort a collection by nested property with Spring Data JPA. You know, it's very common that we have this kind of entity relationship between a product and category. A product has a reference to category which is a separate entity and a product entity also has a reference to a brand which is also a separate entity and in the user interface suppose that we have the following uh, products listing and it's very natural that the end user wants to sort the products by brand name or sort the products by category name. So in this uh, video, I will show you how to uh, do this kind of sorting with Spring Data JPA. Let me show you a sample application developed in Spring. As you can see here, I have a web application. This is a products listing. And you can see product name, brand, and category. Mm. For now, I can sort the products by brand by clicking the brand header in the table here. But it is actually sorting the products by brand ID, not by brand name. As you can see in the next page, Shawnee HP Sandix. You see, it is sorting the list by brand ID not by brand name in ascending order um, as uh, you can see in the console view here you see it orders the result by product uh, brand id brand id column in the product table in uh, ascending order not by brand name let me try to sort again by brand in descending order and now you can see the sequence statement here order by product brand id in descending order similarly the sorting uh, products by category is not sorting by category name it is sorting uh, the products list by category id as you can see in the sql statement in the console view here yeah you see the order by product category id descending now i'm going to write some a couple of unit tests uh, for testing uh, uh, sorting a collection of product entities by brand name and category name so in this project i have the product entity class here you can see it has a reference to brand and a reference to category this is the category entity class it has the few name and this is a brand entity class it has the few name okay now let me write the first unit test in this class uh, product repository test this is a Spring data jpa test i have the product repository interface here you see it extends passing and sorting repository okay and i write a new method here test sort products by brand brand name okay so firstly i need to create a sort object from spring uh, data jpa you need to import the sort class from here sort equal sort by and then the few name 
so in this case uh, i need to specify the field name as brand and underscore name so name is a property of brand object brand field and in ascending order okay and then i create a pageable object pageable equal page request of first page and um, page size is 30 okay and the sort object here okay then I call report file all and passing the page of object and it returns uh, page okay page result page result get content it returns the list here yeah, list products okay and then i use um, for each method list products here yeah, with lambda expression to bring out the details of each product printf i use printf with the button is uh, 70s 70s and as the first is for product name and the second is for brand name product get short name i have the method product get short name here that returns the first 70 characters of the product name so that that is why i need to use this specifier minus 70s okay and then the brand name of the product product get brand get name okay for now i just sort the products collection by brand not by brand name so i delete this i keep only the field name as brand here yeah, and run the test method Sorry, I need to put the new like character in the printf statement at the end here. Yeah, new like character so we can see the output, uh, readable output. Okay, you see the output, uh, it prints a list of product names along with brand name and you can see brand canon sony hp sandix western panasonic pelican apple that means it is not uh, sorted by brand name it is it is sorting the products by brand id uh, as you can see in the sql statement here And let me look for the order by brand ID. You see, it order orders the result by product brand ID here. Now I update the short field here to brand underscore name. So name here is a property in the brand object here. So it is a nested property okay and run the test again okay now you see the output here the product names along with brand names you see acer amazon basic amd apple so it is actually sorted by brand name in ascending order let me check the sql statement you can see it orders the result by brand name in ascending order here yeah. now let me try to sort by brand name in descending order so i update the code like this 
and run the test again. Okay, you see, now the list of products is sorted in reverse order of brand name, you see. And let me check the query. It orders the result by brand name in a descending order here. Yeah. So, so similarly, I can write a code that sorts a product list by category name. So uh, just copy and modify the code here. The test method name is uh, test sort products by category name. I specify the field name is category underscore name and in uh, ascending order okay and here i put in the category name get category get name okay and run the test okay you see it prints a list of product names along with category names and the category names are sorted in uh, descend ascending order you see box and cases cables and adapters cpu desktops digital cameras and let me check the query the sql select statement and you see it orders by category name in ascending order now let me update the sort direction here to descending order and run the test again all right you see now the category names the products list is now sorted by category name in descending order and let me check the sql select statement here you can see it orders the result by category name in descending order so you can see it's very simple to uh, do sorting by nested property with spring data jpi the key point here is that you specify the field name the field of the the field in the list collection product here and then the nested property after underscore you see all right now back to the user interface the products listing yeah yep if you notice that in the url i use the short field brand here short field category here so to update the sorting here uh, we need to specify the few name like this brand underscore name and you see It is sorting the list by a brand name in descending order. The first page, you see, second page. So let me update the code. Okay, I specify the few name to be sorted here is brand underscore name. And here is brand and uh, sorry category underscore name. Okay, and refresh products. And now I click the column header to sort the products list by brand name in ascending order. You see, you see brand name in the URL here, brand underscore name. And sort the list by brand name in descending order. You see very good right and sort the products list by category name in descending order as you can see here category underscore name descending order and sort the products products list by category name in ascending order you see here the few name is category underscore name all right so that you have learned how to implement sorting by nested property with Sabrina Data JPA.
the key point is that you need to specify the field name to be sorted uh, in the code like this uh, use the underscore to uh, specify a nested property so you see to sort uh, the collection collection of uh, products by brand name you see suppose that we have uh, the product entity class uh, that has a reference to brand object and that has the field name make sense so i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching